Hello and welcome uh, students to another lecture session regarding the strategic management. In this session, uh, dear students, we're going to talk about the intensive strategy and also we'll discuss the types of the intensive strategy, which are the product development strategy, market development strategy, uh, market penetration strategy, and also the diversification strategy. So let's start off from the first topic. What is the intensive strategy? It says that intensive strategies are those strategies which demand further more intensive efforts to improve the performances of existing products in market. It means uh, while the organizations, they want to grow, they want to, uh, you know, uh, develop or they want to grow their performances uh, more or increase their shares uh, in, in current market or maybe in, in, in new markets. So they need to have, you know, some sort of efforts or they have to apply the intensive strategies uh, in order to get uh, growth, in order to increase, you know, their profitability and also their market shares. Uh, by doing this, you know, uh, they are applying the intensive strategies. Either they are producing, you know, uh, the new products uh, to the new markets or either they are producing uh, the existing products to the existing markets or uh, either they are just, you know, targeting or segmenting the new markets. Uh, we may also say that when an organization struggles to improve its competitive position with current products, then different types of intensive strategies should be considered. Uh, it means while the organization uh, current products, product lines or services are not performing much better or they are not competing, uh, you know, in, in, in a market or, a, or in an industry uh, or they are not gaining the competitive position or, uh, you know, they are not uh, re returning, you know, enough uh, profit uh, profit to the organization. So definitely uh, the company is looking, you know, for, you know, some sort of intensive strategies uh, in order to uh, to increase their market shares by producing new products or either, you know, targeting the new uh, markets. Uh, in other words, we can say that, you know, these strategies are generally used uh, by the businesses when they want to expand its markets. For example, a company which is offering products or services to a current markets and they have the potential or they have, you know, uh, you know, the, the opportunity to target a new market or a, a new segment. So they're still applying, you know, the intensive uh, strategy or either, uh, you know, uh, they are just, you know, like like uh, producing uh, new products and services to the current market because there is, you know, like a demand available for it. Uh, we can say that, you know, intensive strategies uh, help the organization uh, to improve their competitive position. So it means while the organizations that are trying time to time to grow their products and services or to grow their markets by offering new products and new services or, you know, uh, bringing innovations or just, you know, uh, you know, they're, they're just, you know, like playing with prices or bringing qualities or bringing, you know, depth in their products or offering, you know, various product lines. So they're growing their markets and by growing their markets and increasing their market shares, the organizations, they're gaining the competitive advantage. So uh, the organizations which are applying the intensive strategies, uh, they must have uh, core competencies uh, which help them to gain competitive advantage in a given market. Now, uh, you know, uh, we are going to talk about the intensive uh, strategy, uh, you know, the types of the intensive strategy or the dimensions of the intensive strategy. Uh, there is a matrix which is developed by NSAF. So this matrix, uh, as I mentioned before, it was, you know, uh, developed by <coughs> NSAF. And especially it's a very useful matrix for the business organizations. Uh, and mostly, you know, the business organizations, uh, they are using this uh, matrix as a strategic plan for their businesses in order to grow and improve, you know, their services or their products. Uh, you know, we, we all know that in long run, the organizations cannot survive uh, because the businesses are getting very complex. Uh, the competition is going high. Uh, the businesses, they are becoming, you know, globalized. Uh, many businesses, you know, they are just uh, operating in various parts of the world. So uh, the, the companies, they cannot stick to one, one type of strategy or one type of product or services. Uh, time to time, they need a variation. Time to time, they need to study the market and analyze the market and see, uh, you know, the new opportunities uh, which are offered by the market. And they need to, you know, uh, analyze, you know, the, the needs and demands of uh, the customers, you know, time to time because, you know, the customer behaviors uh, are changing. 
so that's why you know uh, like like uh, this uh, matrix is just you know helping uh, the businesses to grow to improve their performances to increase you know their profitability uh, help them you know uh, to increase their shares uh, in a, in an industry uh, so by using or applying uh, this matrix you know in business organizations uh, the businesses, you know, they're ready for, you know, bringing a change, uh, the change, you know, which can give them, you know, the opportunity to grow uh, the business more and also increase, you know, their product uh, profitability also. Uh, and also the insoft matrix, uh, you know, was mainly suggested uh, uh, for, for the growth of the businesses, you know, in two dimensions. Or we can say that, you know, this uh, matrix uh, can be used, you know, or can be approached uh, in two ways. One, through varying the product growth, uh, it means what the business is currently selling uh, should sell something different. Uh, the, the market, uh, companies, for example, a company is selling something. Uh, uh, growth growth market. Offer kuna. So this is you know uh, one growth dimension. Yek tagiras ke metana wo growth kuna. The other one is you know uh, either by achieving you know the market growth. Uh, it means that uh, the business can grow uh, you know by targeting the new markets, uh, by segmenting you know the new markets in producing goods and services you know uh, based on their needs and based on their demands. So let's you know discuss you know the four quadrants of uh, you know this uh, matrix, which is the market penetration, market development, and also product development in diversification strategy. So these four uh, you know quadrants of this matrix uh, talks about that how the organization can grow, uh, you know, uh, by offering the new products or services, or how the organization can grow their market. Uh, the first one that's you know the market penetration strategy. What penetration exactly means? Means entering. And it says, you know, this is the lowest risk uh, strategy for a company uh, to sell its existing products into existing markets. Yeah, there is strategy a company may tana ke existing products kara ba existing markets offer kana. Bai monas tan. Ke da kodam industry ke failan ya misal operate may kana da unamu industry may tana ke product kara sell out kana bufrosha bringing, you know, a bit changes in that. Uh, to the current customers and also targeting the new customers. Metana ki new customers are ham target kana. This strategy uh, termed as market penetration. This is only possible where markets are still growing. Ko me dayu wa is strategy me tana ki tadbiq shawa ki agar the market ki me failan ham ba growth chances as yani market ki as growth dora companies me tana ki products se khoda existing products sa ba inami market offer kara chara ki growth rate da unja ala ham. موجود ہے لیکن اگر گروت نہ باشا انڈسٹری میں چیور شدہ باشا دن یو نو دس سٹریٹیجی اس ناٹ ورکنگ پینٹریشن میں تنہا کہ باسا سے پرائز باشا مثالی دورہ میں تنہا پرائز خدا کم کنا دا کرن مارکٹ پینٹریٹ میں کنا ہوا میں خواہ کہ فروشات خدا یا سیلز خدا انکریز کنا or either you know by performing you know some additional uh, activities like uh, adding you know some new features to your products or you know performing some uh, you know advertisement uh, you know in the market so these are the ways that the organization can use the penetration strategy uh, so the question is this that why the organizations are opting or selecting the market penetration strategy uh, we can answer that market penetration uh, helps businesses to increase their market share for example if a company has, you know, 30% market share in an industry, so by offering, you know, more goods or more products or services, you know, in that market, uh, by using different techniques, uh, discounting the price or, you know, by more promotional activities, so they're just, you know, trying to gain more, uh, you know, market share in that uh, existing uh, market. So uh, w what is, you know, important, uh, like, you know, for the businesses to do uh, in order to penetrate well? or in order to, to use, you know, this strategy uh, as a successful source for growing the business uh, or also for growing the market shares. Uh, the first uh, tactic or the first, you know, uh, thing or element which is important, you know, in this uh, penetration strategy is price uh, adjustment. Company by the price of the dubara adjust kana. Yani competitors by the mutala shawa, customers by the mutala shawa. وہ باسا جزو کیا اس بائیت پرائز دوبارہ ایڈجیسٹ شوا اگر پرائز ہم آس کمپیٹیٹرز کا رزیات پاشا سو you know there is less chance you know that we will attract the new customers 
ما نو کسٹمرز اٹریک کردن نہ میتانیم سو دیٹس وائی پرائز ایڈجسٹمنٹ از امپارٹنٹ ان مارکیٹ پینیٹریشن دا نیکسٹ ون از نو اگمنٹڈ پروموشن سو دا 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 بزنس اور دا کمپنی شڈ ورک مور آن ہیوی ایڈورٹائزمنٹس ان آرڈر ٹو کریٹ یو نو برین اویئرنیس ان آلسو برین لائلٹی ان جس یو نو ہیوی ایڈورٹائزمنٹ اسپیشلی یو نو ٹو دوز پارٹس ویر یو نو دا نو کسٹمرز کین بی ٹارگیٹڈ ان آلسو ڈسٹریبیوشن چینلز The organization can increase, you know, the distribution channels and make, you know, uh, the product available uh, to, to, to all the people, you know, in any part and make, you know, the purchase easier for the people, uh, create more sales networks uh, that, you know, can help uh, the customers in order to gain or get the, the, the product uh, in, an, in an easy possible way or improving products. Meta na ke current product ba current market offer shawa by improving, you know, the product's features. It means, you know, working on products uh, and making the product, you know, a bit different from the competitors or create barriers to the entry. Meta na ke organization ya businesses ke as ya ba new companies ke dahi market enter me shay ba wa barriers khalq kana. Barriers meta na ke misal, you know, can be, can be, you know, on different levels. Misal meta na ke namla is suppliers relation khub bosh sa ta ke suppliers ba new company supply na kana. یا مثال میں تنا کہ پرائز بہو لیول ڈسکاؤنٹ کرنا کہ نو کمپنی نہ میں تنا کہ پرائز آفر کرنا با مارکیٹ یا اکانومیز آف سکیل میں بہت شاہ کہ کاسٹلی ریشپ میں کرنا کاسٹ خدا ڈیکلائن میں کرنا کہ دیگر کمپنی نہ میں تنا کہ کاسٹ ایفورٹ کرنا سو دا کمپنیز دے شوڈ میک یو نو انٹریز اور بیر یو نو بیریئرز فار دا نو کمپنیز ٹو انٹر ٹو دا مارکیٹ با کمپنی ہی نو کہ دے مارکیٹ میں با واقعات باید بیریئرز خلق کرنا تاکہ ای انڈسٹری ان اٹریکٹیو نہ شاہ تا اندازہ ہے کہ مثال کمپیٹیٹرز زیادہ میشہ کمپنیاں دے گا مارکیٹ زیادہ میشہ بہو نمو اندازہ انڈسٹری کیاس ان اٹریکٹیو انڈسٹری میں بہو شاہ ان آسو ایفیکٹیو سیلز پروموشن ادارہ باید دا مارکیٹ پینیٹریشن کیاس سیلز پروموشن خدا باید بشکل بہتر انجام بتا کمنگ ٹوورز پروڈک ڈیولپمنٹ انو دس از دا سیکنڈ سٹریجیک آپشن ان دا انصاف میٹرکس کہ میں تو انا بزنس ارگنیزیشنز ازی استفادہ کرنا سو وٹ ایز انو پروڈک ڈیولپمنٹ از دا نیم سجیسٹ تو ڈیولپ نو پروڈکٹس فار دا ایگزسٹنگ مارکیٹس یعنی مشتریہ کی موہ فیلن دا ای مارکیٹ دا رہے ہیں بہنے میں مشتریہ کیا اس موہ نو پروڈکٹس ایز آفا میں کنیں میں تو انا کی نو پروڈکٹس مثل نو پروڈکٹ لائنز باشا اور ایدر یو نو دا سیم پروڈکٹ لائن کیا اس موہ پروڈکٹ ڈیپت یا پروڈ با با دا مثال کلام پروڈکٹ کی فیلن با مارکیٹ آفر میشہ دا نو پروڈکٹ کیا اس مثال ما سائز چینج میں کنیم یا مثال پیکنگ چینج میشہ یا کلرز چینج میشہ یا ویرائیٹیز دا ویز آفر میشہ و یا کیس بلکل یک پروڈکٹ نو ڈیولپ میشہ با ایگزسٹنگ مارکیٹ تو پروڈکٹ ڈیولپمن سٹریجی ہیر دا پروڈکٹ ان پروموشن ایلیمنٹس آف مارکیٹنگ میکس کل چینج وہ زمانے کی ایک پروڈکٹ نو تا با مارکیٹ میں آیا سو ڈیفنیٹلی پروموشن میکس کیس وہ چینج میں شاہ بورزو ایڈورٹائزمنٹ میں شاہ دوبارہ کیس پرائزنگ میں شاہ پلیسمنٹ ایزو بھی سور مہم ہے تو ویچ پلیس اور تو ویچ مارکیٹ سیگمنٹس دا ارگنیزیشن وانٹ تو یو نو ڈسٹریبیوٹ دیس نو پروڈکٹ تمام فور پیز یا سیون پیز باید مد نظر گرفتا شوا سو دا رسک اس ہائیر دن دا مارکیٹ دا مارکیٹ پینیٹریشن خود تولید آلویڈی دا مارکیٹ میں چیور شدہ یا آوائرنیس دا موردی تولید ہمرائی کسٹمرز موجود ہے لیکن دا پروڈکٹ ڈیویلپمنٹ کہ ایک پروڈکٹ نو با مارکیٹ انٹر میں شا وی وی نیور نو کہ کسٹمرز با طرف یو پروڈکٹ چی نوا ریسپانس میں تا آیا کسٹمرز لائک میں کنا نمی کنا آیا مثال کسٹمرز بہو ڈیمانڈ نشان میں تا یا نمی تا آیا مثال کمپیٹیٹرز از وقت بہتر آفر میں کنا سو دیر آر لٹس آف کوششنز یو نو دا پروڈکٹ ڈیولپمنٹ کہ یہ ایک 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 سٹریٹیجی رسک ایئر میں بہت شاہ دا سکسیس آف دس سٹریٹیجی ڈیپینڈز آن دا ارگنائزیشن بینگ ایبل ٹو ایفیکٹیولی کنڈکٹ ریسرچ ان انسائٹ اگر یہ سٹریٹیجی را یہ دورہ میں خواہ کہ بشکل موثر و موفق انجام دادا شوا یعنی پروڈکٹ کی نو یا می خواہی کہ ڈیویلپ کنا او پروڈکٹ موافق پوشا یا دا مارکیٹ مثال شیئرز خدا حاصل کنا یا دا مارکیٹ مثال دا کمپیٹیٹیف پوزیشن بھی آیا باید مارکیٹ ریسرچ انجام دادا شوا تاکہ دا موریدی نیوز مندیہ کسٹمرز معلومات شوا دا موریدی کمزوریہ و کمپیٹیٹرز معلومات شوا و باسا زیزو کیا اس نیو پروڈکٹ باید ڈیویلپ شوا و ادارہ قبل انہوں موقع افتیم کہ باید کور کمپیٹنسیز و کیپیبلیٹیز دشتہ باشا تاکہ انویشنز بھی آرہا چینجز بھی آرہا و ایک پروڈکٹ نو بارے موں ڈیزائن کردہ بتانا Alright, so one more question that we need to answer in product development that how the organization can apply this strategy 
So there are some stages. At first, any organization which is looking for the product development. At first, the organization should segment the market. By segmenting the market, the organization can realize and understand that which segment they can target and which segment uh, can best suit their new product. Aga wakte ki market segment mesha wa segment malum mesha either demographically segment mesha, psychographically mesha, ya geographically mesha, ya behavioristic segmentations mekana. Ho, the product development strategy awal mohim gias ki market segment sha. Then the second thing is that which segment do you want to target? It means the available resources or the available uh, core com competencies and capabilities uh, that the organization has. Kodam segment tamitana bashakle behtar anjam dada batana ya ura target kada batana. Zamane ke mauzoi segmentation matra hamecha dega zaruriyas ke baayat organization market research conduct kana wa basa se market इनफॉरमेशन मो मेतन या कंपनी मेतन के एक सेगमेंट नवा क्रिएट करना वो बो सेगमेंट तौलेदात का अर्जा करना द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज द मार्केट डेवलपमेंट स्ट्रेटजी सो द थर्ड स्ट्रेटजिक ऑप्शन इन्वॉल्व्स यू नो टेकिंग एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट्स इनटू न्यू मार्केट्स मार्केट डेवलपमेंट इट मींस नो वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप अ न्यू मार्केट फॉर आवर एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट्स वी आर टेकिंग यू नो द एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज इनटू अ न्यू मार्केट it can be internal market or it can be external markets wo metanim ke da dakhil ham by a market now tawlidat khoda arza karim ya metanim ke globally ya internationally by a market now tawlidat fili khoda arza karim ki is strategy risk year mein bosha because you know we do not know about the new market we do not know about you know the consumer behavior the competition level you know in the new market we don't know about the requirements we don't know about the nature of the new market so that's why you know penetrating into a new market is uh, a bit riskier uh, for the organization so the, the the company must have you know like like a very good study a good analysis uh, of the new market uh, and then uh, produce uh, their existing products and services to that market because you know new markets are always you know offering you know like like some sort of complexities some challenges uh, which which you know uh, does not help the course of the organization but new market idara majburas ki policies strategies khuda by change kana promotional mix khuda by change kana you know their advertisements uh, will be totally changed so that's why going into a new market or into a new uh, you know place with the existing products uh, is not you know an easy work it needs you know intensive efforts from the organization in order to succeed in that particular market and the last one is you know the diversification this is the last uh, strategy in in soft matrix uh, the final strategy uh, which you know talks about that you know uh, diversifying you know your your product uh, or your market uh, it means that developing you know new products for the new markets bilkul ek tawlid nawa ba ek market nawa mo ijad me kanem this is seen as the riskiest strategy of all four ida tamam chara ji khatar riskiest as ke mo tawlid nawa jor me kanem zamane ki company tawlid nawa jor me kana first time research me kana getting the data about the product me kana tamam apad ma nazar girfta me but still you know you are launching a new product the success of the new product you know now it's not clear you know it will it will just you know uh, will be studied uh, you know once the product is introduced in the market the development stage mo me minim the growth mo me minim a product life cycle ki ek dafa shuru me sha so then the businesses will realize that their new product is going on success point or it's going on failure point and ye ko yak ko tawlid na me sha wa ye ki market na me sha yani new product to the new market both are the new experiences for the organization uh, because you know uh, the organization does not have you know like like you know enough information about the new product wa ham jana da more new market ke as malumat khas na dara so new product to the new market is a very risky strategy uh, and also uh, the risk can be uh, lessened by under, uh, by undertaking related diversification and it could have the potential to gain the highest returns